Hello friends, this is Manuraj here from Gadget Kada. Today I'm here to show you the latest changes and features after the Android Pie update for Mi A1. So without further waste any more time, let's get started. Okay guys, to get started, the first in the list is new launcher. They have updated the launcher 3 to the latest launcher Quickstep launcher. So the main difference here is you will see the date and time on the top of the screen and you will see the Google Now bar now move to the down side. So this is the launcher, quick step launcher. So moving to the next feature in the list is dual 4G voice over LTE. So this is the most awaited feature and now you can use both the 4G SIM card at the same time and you can use the voice over LTE features on both the SIMs. So moving to the next change in the list is we have the latest redesigned settings panel. Now we have all colored icons and they have changed some of the positioning of the apps. But in Mi A2, we were having the about phone on the top of the screen after the Pi update. In Mi A1, it still remains the same and they have added digital well-being app and Mi services icon on the settings screen. So moving to the next change in the list is we have a redesigned notification panel. Now we have a material design more over the previous layout and all the app icons or the icons have rounded corners. Next in the list we have the DND mode for notification. For that you have to, for activating that you have to go to app notification, apps and notification and there you will see something called notifications. There you will see the new feature do not disturb. So once you go to that you will see a lot of options. When to turn on the do not disturb. Here you will also get options like to set the behavior, exceptions and schedule. You can schedule the time when the do not disturb needs to be activated. So moving to the next in the list is digital well-being which I will say is the most useful app. So it will show you how frequently you use the phone and it will show all the statistics you need. So like here you will see a graph on like which all applications you were using. Here you will see the screen on time and you will see which all applications you were using like it will show all the minutes how many minutes it, you were using and you will here you will see how many times you unlock the phones or how many notifications you received all these tracks all these things will be tracked by this digital well-being app so you will also get a new feature called wind down mode which will help you to schedule your sleep cycle on based on like when you are going to sleep and when you are going to wake up So moving to the next in the list is new volume controls. Now we have a new volume control layout and as you can see here there is slight difference when you click on volume. So when you click on that icon you can directly change the volume and if you click on the top icon of you can directly change it to vibrate mode or silent just with a single tap. And if you want to go to the detail setting just tap on the settings icon and there you will be able to control the media volume, call volume, ring volume and alarm volume. So moving to the next and the most awaited feature is gestures and navigation. I was having a feeling that we won't get this feature for me A1 but we also got this, got this feature. To activate this you just need to go to gestures and turn this feature on, swipe up on home button. There you will see that we have got a new navigation bar and if you slide from one place to another you will see all the from left to right you will get to see all the recent apps and if you just slide it from left to right you you can go to the previous app and if you press and hold the navigation bar it will take you to the google now and if you slide once it will take you to the recent apps and if you slide one more time it will take you to the app drawer so to go to the app drawer you will have to slide on your home screen twice so moving to the next in the list is the new way to access the split screen now you have to go to the recent apps and just tap on the icon and you will get the option split screen now just choose the other app you want in split screen mode and enjoy using it so moving to the next features in the list is adaptive battery and adaptive brightness. To activate this you just need to go to your settings and just search for adaptive battery or adaptive brightness. So what it does is it continuously keep tracking on what you are doing. Like it will use AI or machine learning to keep track of everything that you are doing. And based on that it will calibrate the battery so that you will get a better battery backup. So 
So moving to the next feature in the list is lockdown mode. To activate this feature, you just need to go to your settings and search for lockdown mode. And you just need to enable it from there. So what it does is, if you press and hold the power button, you will see a new option called lockdown mode. So when you click on that, what it does is it disables all the other mechanisms for to unlock your phone like your face ID or your fingerprint scanner. The only way to unlock your phone will be your pin or your pattern. So moving to the next one in the list is text magnification. So whenever you are using your browser, you just need to copy a text and slide your fingers through so that the text gets magnified and it will be easy to read. So moving to the next feature in the list is to view the standby apps. So to, to view the standby apps, you just need to go to the settings and search for standby apps. So it will navigate you to the standby apps and here you will see all the apps. And if you click on any particular app, you will see like four options like active working set frequent or rare so this is automatically done by the system and if you think that any of these settings is not right you can directly change it to active mode or frequent mode so moving to the next in the list is fm radio after the pi update they have finally included the fm radio here with the update so to use this FM radio, you just need to plug in your headphones and just choose your stations which you need. And if you plug in your headphones and if you click on the top icon on the right side of the corner, the three dots on the right side of the corner, you will get an option also to switch to the speaker mode. So moving to the next one in the list is screenshot shortcut to now to take a screenshot you just need to tap on tap and hold the power button and you will get the screenshot option so once a screenshot is taken you can also edit it and you can change the color or you can add any text or you can crop it or anything after, and then you can share it anywhere so moving to the last feature in the list is accessibility menu to access the accessibility menu you can just go to accessibility scroll down and you will see an option called accessibility menu you just need to tap on the toggle and click OK so that you will see a new accessibility menu on the navigation bar. So you will see that you will get a new navigation in the navigation bar. You will see an accessibility menu and you will get nine useful features or shortcuts. You can access the assistant accessibility settings, power settings, volume settings, recent apps, lock screen, quick settings and notifications. And you can also take a screenshot. This comes in quite handy and you can directly enable the accessibility menu to enjoy all the shortcuts. Okay guys that's it for the video. If you like the video please hit the like button for the battery backup and detail benchmarking and charging time test. I will be making a video in another 2 days. So if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button. So until next time bye bye.